What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here. Primer ready to deliver you week six of Fella here on the channel. Uh, you can see my hair is different. I, I straightened my hair the other day, but that's not the point. Today we are taking on Cassie of the Liverpool Lux Rays. Uh, she's sending me the challenge right now, so we're gonna get into it. You saw the team builder, so uh, yeah, let's go for it. <clears throat> All right, so we see that she brings. I'm gonna bring the volume up a little bit. She actually brings the. All right, let me mark it down. Arcanine, Aromatisse, Heatran, Venusaur, Loking, and Mandibuzz. She asks if I can share the link. Sure. Me, you're gonna see all of this live, but uh, me uh. Type. Just pop them up here. There's my Skype loading up. All right, she did it. Never mind. We're good. All right, so. Looking at this, trying to predict the lead matchup. Uh, let me sign up and skip there. Alright, so we got the uh, potential lead, potential Mandibuzz lead. I can see, I can see Heatran trying to set up rocks. Um. Hmm. I mean, the only real leads that would give Volcanion issues, per se, would be, uh, would be, uh, Venusaur and, um, Venusaur and... Venusaur and Slow King would be the only ones I could actually really have issues with. But, uh, no ground types, so that's kind of dope. Uh, I can actually just lead Jolteon and go for Volt Switch. Just to kind of see what her plan is, so I'm going to put Jolteon up on the calcs. And, uh, we're going to go ahead and lead Jolteon. She does lead with the Venusaur, so that's that's a safe lead on her part. We're not going to get much damage off, so I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch regardless. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch, probably my safest play. I have nothing that can touch the Venusaur, really, so I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> My drink for the video, to keep myself hydrated throughout the game, Arnold Palmer half and half. And also help keep my energy up, so there we go. Some good stuff. Um, what did I bring on my team that handles this thing? Jinx and... Latios, right? What spread did I run on Latios this week? Did I bring I brought specs Latios? Okay, good to know. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going for the volt switch. I have to be careful when I'm in there as to what move I fire off. I'm really surprised she didn't bring any of her ground types. She didn't bring her uh, flag on. Uh, I guess she didn't want to have to run Yachi, because she would have had to run Yachi Berry to counter my Jolteon. She didn't bring Meloetta either, which is kind of the reason why I brought the Flame Orb on Jolteon, although uh, once the Flame Orb pops, when, once I get that burn on me, uh, I will be faster than everything. So that's kind of, I guess that's kind of an upside to this. I will, I will be 100% faster than her entire team. 
I would have been able to run Modest though. I think I would have been able to actually run Modest Jolteon. Oni. I'm obviously gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna change into Modest. What is? No, I wouldn't have been able to run Modest because Chinchino would have outsped me. Yeah, Chinchino would have outsped me if I ran Modest, but I guess that's not the worst thing in the world. But uh, yeah, you know, shit happens. I mean, we're sitting, we're sitting, we're 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 sitting pretty right now. All right, so we're just waiting for. I think we're waiting for everybody to join into the room. And, uh, whatnot, couple, we have a couple people already joined in. Alright, she's just gonna Mega Evolve first turn. Um, it's kind of scary, uh, switching out here, because she probably could be packing the knockoff. Uh, they need to keep Tuffles around for the Mandibuzz, kind of. I don't really want anything knocked off. Can't safely bring in Jinx while I'm predicting a knockoff. Or Onisan, to be honest. Let's look at let's look at Jinx. Can I live a knockoff from a Mega Venusaur? If Mega Venusaur Say Mega Venusaur, the typical set goes for knockoff. Knockoff would kill me. How about Latios? Knockoff would only do about half. If I'm predicting knockoff, do I go into... So there's one of two plays that could be made here. She could go for Earthquake, trying to catch the Jolteon. Or she can go for... Knockoff. Mill ground plays to go out and uh, go into Onisan. It's my safest bet. We're gonna see a Leech Seed go out. Actually, that's not the worst thing in the world. All right. My thing is, Slash Shock is obvious. So do I go Thunderbolt? I feel like it's way too early to start making predictions. Hmm. I'm really gonna be careful. I really feel like the man was is coming in, so I'm gonna go Thunderbolt. Predicting the man of us, I'm gonna go Thunderbolt. I'm probably gonna regret this in a few seconds. Please switch to man of us. I know I can cancel it, but I really don't want to cancel it because I because if I cancel it and go to Psy Shock and goes she goes on to man of us, then that gives her a whole lot of momentum, and I really don't want that right now. How much of a Thunderbolt do you man of us? 64 to 76 percent. If that Mandibuzz comes in right now, that's that's a that's a problem for her, but great for me. Oh, great! Spilled Arnold Palmer on the notebook. She 
goes out into Slow King. Okay, that's not nearly as much damage as I would have liked, but... <sighs> alright, alright, alright. So now we can figure out what kind of set this Slow King is. Let's, let's do that first. Let's do that first. So we have Slow King, right? Okay. Could have been a max roll on an Assault Vested one. That's a solid vest. If... Because if it was just straight up specially defensive... Actually, let's go, let's look at look this a little better. Specially defensive. Make sure it has 252. Yeah, it has to be the max roll assault vest. Mm-hmm. It's an assault vested, uh, slow king right there for sure. Alright, so my switch here is... <sighs> what is my switch? Drapion, yeah. Yo, I just realized, I bought... I brought five special attackers to this match. If Drapion gets burned, we're in trouble. Because we have an assault vested goddamn Slow King sitting here. At least we now know this thing is assault vested. So it's not packing things like Thunder Wave or shit like that. We're not packing that, which makes me happy. Yeah, it has to be assault vest. Because even max special defense, max HP. Uh, can't take a Thunderbolt, a Specs Thunderbolt from our Latios that good. Ice Speed, okay. So I'm very free to click knockoff here. I'm very very free to just click knockoff. That's not what I wanted. Uh, against this assault, against assault fast slow king, if it is that set, uh, knockoff would kill it. Knockoff would kill it from this range. There's a really, really good chance to. Where are we sitting at? We're sitting at 61%. Pretty much guarantees a 2-bit KO, if not... If not absolutely... Uh, blowing it the fuck back. Because knockoff does 59 to 70, so we actually have a really, really good chance of... Uh, taking it out right here, so... We are... Going to see the Mega Venusaur come in. Good play on her part. Uh, okay, what can we do to a Mega Venusaur? Not much, I can assume. Alright, so how much did that knock off you? 12%. Okay, this is a bulkier Venusaur. This is a much bulkier Venusaur. Yeah, this is actually a max physically defensive. This is a physically defensive Slowbro, or Venusaur. This is physically defensive, out the ass, for sure. That's why this was her dedicated switching. I'm gonna actually test that a little bit. I'm gonna go for a... My most damaging move is gonna be Poison Jab, just to scout. If it does between 14 and 16.4, it's physically defensive. 14, yep, that we got the mineral there. That's, that's exactly what I wanted.
Okay, so knowing that, knowing that, and the fact that we brought two Psy Shockers instead of a Psych Icker uh, is kind of bad. Um, How much would Draco Meteor do to this thing? 74 to 88. I'm not safe to just click Draco. <sighs> the problem here is it would eat a Psy Shock. But I have to go out into. Cause I can't just let this thing get all its HP back and sap my health away. I can't. I'm gonna go into Onisan. If, if she decides to Earthquake here, if she is packing the Earthquake, then uh, we'll dodge it. And she's packing the knockoff and she's just been hiding it this whole time. And she's much more pro than we are. HP might be it was resisted in power. Mm. Is that HP fire? Predicting the jinx? Okay. Um Alright, so let's look at I actually need to look something up real quick. Generator. I just need to know how much it gives back. How many, how much, like what the percentage is. 33%. So, Slow King would not be at max HP when it comes back in. So actually looking at it, if we Thunderbolt here, we have a chance to kill. Slow King. Bottom line, this thing can't stay in on us. Yeah, this thing can't stay in on us because if we go for a Psy Shock and it stays in, or if we go for a Psychic and it stays in, it's going to get absolutely blown back. She can't take those kind of risks, especially with her Mega. This is early on in the match. We're only seven turns deep. She can't take that kind of risk. And her switches to this thing are mons that are weak to Thunderbolt. Hmm. Kinda wish I was Assault Death instead of Specs, to be honest, right now. Kinda wish I was AV myself. AV didn't modest, but. And if she stays in right now, it's gonna suck for us. Like a lot. She goes out of the Slow King. We kill. We just click Thunderbolt, we kill from here. And she's gonna go back out of the Venus, but it's fine. 
Can we get a para on the Venus one? Let me just make sure. After seeing that kind of damage. Defensive. Uh, that looks... That looks about right. That looks about right for... Alright. Uh, I've never seen a more obvious leech seed in my life. So I'm gonna go... Lead seed, and, and this is where I pulled the double back out into Latios. can't make the play to go out into Jinx, because if I go out into Jinx, I'm a Tarasu. Alright, I'm a Tarasu. Arcanine, it does have Intimidate. Let's see. Ooh, I like the look of that. Even a max HP, if this thing has, it would have to be specially defensive, because if it's not, Draco Meteor kills. I have no reason not to click Draco. I'm clicking Draco. I click Draco. I'm about to drop Draco. Um, this thing could extreme speed me here. Uh, it wouldn't kill me if it's defensive. Uh, if it's offensive, let me just calc that real quick. Offensive. Uh, if it's offensive, uh, extreme speed still doesn't kill. And if it's offensive, then Draco immediately kills. Ooh, ooh, that's good damage. I'm kind of curious here. Alright, 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 right, right. That did 56%. I did a lot more than I should have. Let me try and figure out what the hell her set is right now. I'm extremely confused. I was really honestly thinking Assault Vest. Okay, so... Let's go... 252... 48... You know, that's looking like specially defensive damage. Why did I get so much less the first time? Is that like the most min roll you can get? But even right here on the calcs it says Max HP, max max special defense, but special defensive boosting nature. I should have only done I should have done minimum 50 percent. I don't know, I'm confused. But can a minus two Draco Meteor kill from here? I'm gonna go out and see Heatran. Okay. Let's figure out how much that let's figure out this Heatran set. This is one of those situations where I wish I was A V because I would have just gone for uh Thunderbolt and then H ground. Okay, so You're not especially defensive by any means. You are definitely offensive. Yeah, you're definitely offensive. Timid, max, max, special attack, max, uh, speed. Definitely 100%. Um, what kind of mood do I see you going for right here? Unless you go for Earth Power. 
Okay, you can eat up. How much is gonna how much will canyon gonna take from the earth power? Less than 50%. I'm gonna go out into Volcania. Oh, it sets up the rocks. Okay, that's kind of nice. Because now I have... I wouldn't say momentum, but I have a decent situation in front of me. I'm just going to click Steam Eruption because even if she switches into something that can eat it up, we still have a 30% chance to burn it. So I'm just going to click Steam Eruption. I have no reason not to. I know this thing's back in the Stealth Rocks. It's, it's, it's definitely just a straight up speedy Heatran with uh, speedy Heatran with rocks. There's just a whole bunch of mind games right now. But a steamer option is going to do a decent amount to just about anything. Uh... I mean, if Slow King didn't have regenerate, it would die on entry because steamer option does 17 to 20 percent, but I know it's, it does so. But, uh, a burn would be nice. Uh, potential for a burn is always there, so hopefully that happens. I would be okay with that happening. <sighs> He's gonna go actually out with the Aromatisse. We get a crit on the Aromatisse. Does 57%. Let's figure out what this Aromatisse is. Let's figure out what this aromatisse is. Alright, let's put crit. Got a crit. Steam eruption. Uh crit steam eruption did 56.5%, so she's definitely specially defensive. She has to be specially defensive. Uh let's just give her a sassy nature. Yeah, that's a mineral crit. That's a mineral crit. So she's especially defensive. Uh, Aromatisse. In this range, a sludge wave does kill. So I'm just gonna click it. I don't think she'd predict that I'd have sludge wave. And I don't want to risk trying to get a max roll on steam eruption. So... We're just gonna go for the sludge wave. We outspeed this thing. We outspeed this thing 100%. Because she has to be max, max, uh, HP max for death. And this is gonna be a long ass battle. We're only 15 turns in, man. 15 turns in, and it's been 20 some minutes. This is crazy. This is crazy. He's gonna go out into the slow king. Okay, can I get a poison on this thing? Okay. So the slow king's here. Just pull up a specially defensive set, alright. I mean, there's really nothing I can do to it. I can sludge wave again. She's gonna go out into the mandible. She's just getting... She's just... What, her plan here, it seems to be, is she's switching around. Get HP back on her, uh... Uh, against this thing, I go for Steam Eruption. It's gonna Toxic me, that's fine. That did 36%. She's got a lot of specially bulky mods, goddamn. She brought a specially defensive... Mandibuzz, too, on top of... She's, she bought specially defensive just about everything to try and counter this thing. <sighs> alright, 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 alright. I mean, everything on my team is packing 
Every single mod on my team is packing to perfect the coverage for this. So I'm kind of feeling alright right now. I don't want to steam eruption again. Adios. Foul play would do 63 to. Ugh, I don't. I don't like that. No. How about tuffles? Ugly tough. You switching on this thing? Oh, every day of the week. Seven days a week. All right. Out comes George the Slow King. I can set up my rocks here. Because I don't see this Slow King being able to do anything to me. I don't really see the Slow King doing damage to me, so... There's that. Um... Yeah, I'm going to set up my rocks. Because that'll hurt the Mandibuzz on re-entry. Mandibuzz, Mandibuzz will go down to about... Mandibuzz will take 25%, Arcanine will start taking 25%, and it'll just start getting chip damage across our team, which I kind of need, especially if this thing's switching in and out. Uh, I want the chip damage. That also makes it so this thing can't safely switch in on my um, Latios anymore. So I can get and keep my rocks up on the field. Um, And the rocks go up. Perfect. Alright. This seems like a sludge bomb to the next dimension. I know it is. Do I think she'll just go leech seed though? This is a tough, this is a tough play, tough play. Alright, so we've already determined Mega Venusaur is defensive. She likes really bulky mods. That's what we've come to the conclusion of. Ooh, you can eat one, but you can't do anything to it, so that's kind of almost pointless. We need to take almost nothing from the sludge bomb. How much does Latios take? We decided to make that play. 33 to 39. Uh, would a crit take us out? No. Just go safely for the leech seed, that's fine. Uh, okay. Do I make the prediction again? Do I go for the T-Bolt? Or just go for the Psy Shop with the Draco? Sci shock button is right there, but it wouldn't kill it. Drago has a small chance. Didn't kill it. Shit. All right, minus two. Can we? We can still kill it for minus two. So we're just gonna go for another one. We're gonna go for another one. We're fine. Goes out to Heatran. 
miss the Draco. That's devastating. And at this point, we just have to go for another Draco because of the fact that we were down to the point where if we had hit that, it would have been a little nicer. If we had hit that Draco just now, it would have been a lot nicer because we would have had this thing down a little bit more. Uh, it's kind of agitating. It really, really is. So we're going to see the first down of the match. We're going to see the first Mon go down. 23 turns in. 23 turns and 33 minutes into the match. We're going to see Latios. I'm going to write this down differently. Uh, depending on what she decides to do here. I know I do outspeed a Heatran. So, like, a lot. So we're going to see how that plays out for us. So depending on what she does here, which I think her safest play is probably just to switch out to a Remitisse. If I was her, I would just switch into a Remitisse, I know. Especially if she knows I'm locked in to um, Draco, she can just switch into a Remitisse. And um, at that point, she just gets the free uh, last bit of my health sapped and then watches me go down. She just goes for Earth Power, predicting the switch. I actually fucking die to... Oh my god. I missed two Dracos in a row. That's so saddening. Alright, well. Mega Venusaur. Kills. Latios. With. Leech. Seed. Okay. So, right now... I gotta determine. We have a Heatran here. Are you offensive for sure? Let's go ahead and pull up Jolteon. Jolteon is packing HP Ice, not HP Ground, so that's kind of a thing. Who's my other mod that's packing HP Ground? Jinx. Jinx is packing HP Ground. Yeah, she... HP Ground doesn't kill. I has a chance to kill. If I get mineral, it doesn't kill. And he kills me. Uh, do I take the risk? Do I really take the risk or do I just go out into... What? Drapion? Just Drapion? Kill? He has earth. She has earth power. Drapion does kill. Do we have spell? Speed. We don't have speed now. So we don't have speed investment. I think I actually have to go out into um, Kardashian. Make sure I outspeed this thing. Or do I go out into Ohm Boy and just click Volt Switch? I feel like that's kind of a safer play. I mean, I outspeed literally her entire team. Uh, I think Jinx is honestly the safer play. I'm really hoping this kills. I'm hoping she stays in right here, but I'm really hoping this kills. It has a chance. It has a chance to kill. HP ground does 70.5 to 
So when it comes down to it, let's put Heatran at 76%. At 246 HP. It's like the minimal it's like the mid mid roll. It's like a mid roll. <sighs> so typically, unless we get the minimum, very, very min roll on an, this HP ground. She has to be so confused right now. She's like, why the hell would you bring in a Jinx on a... On a Heatran. I'm just hoping that she takes the bait and stays in. We have 41 minutes. <laughs> this is the longest battle I've had in ages. Ah, she's just... Fuck! Ah. Oh. And she's gonna see that I'm packing the Hidden Power. Man, I'm locked in now. I have to get out of here. That really sucks. That really sucks. I wanted that so bad. I'm going to Jolteon. I'm going to get Jolteon so I can get my Flame Orb popped. And going, hopefully. The slow king is such an issue. <sighs> this match is gonna this is right this match is gonna go on for a while. Power gem. That's interesting. Alright. I just click full switch. She brought a very specially bulky team to deal with me. That's really, really, that was really smart of her. With the physically defensive Venusaur and the Intimidate Arcanine to back it up. She brought a lot of bulk this week. As did I, but I did, I brought some more offensive stuff too, though. She just has all the right switches, that's the thing. That's the thing about her team, she has all the right switches to everything that she needs to... Actually, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that would've been a... I actually have a really good scenario right here. I'm gonna click knock off. Alright, this thing is losing its item. That's good. I'm okay with it. This is its leftovers. Alright, so this thing's down to 60%. Okay. It had leftovers, so I'm going to presume... Defensive. How much does that do? Yeah, this is a defensive Arcanine. Earthquake doesn't do nearly enough. <sighs> she can't kill us, that's the thing. She can't kill us with Flare Blitz. She can't even kill us with Flare Blitz. So if I go for Earthquake... 
Mission is do I outspeed? If she has minimum speed, I outspeed her. So I get the earthquake off. And then she flare blitz me. I need to save this thing though. I need to save this thing. I need to preserve it. I also need to keep Jinx around for the Mega Venusaur as well. I can't have that thing potentially synthesizing on any of my Pokemon. Alright, if I think she's gonna go for Flare Blitz, Volcanion's my play. I'm gonna go into Volcanion. Morning Sun. Oh, that was such a... Mm. It, was a it was a better play on my part, because now I have pressure on her. She's gonna have to swap. Especially defensive. Slow King. Volcanion. My play is still the steam eruption. Potential burns. Romatisse comes in, is not gonna like it. And then I can follow up with a sludge wave. Or a steam or another steam eruption. The thing is now, like nothing on our team switches into volcanoes nicely and safely. Because this thing would get pretty sure. Yeah, this thing gets one shot, so. Only thing that switches in is Slowking. And if I get a burn on it, that'd be fantastic. 30% chance to burn. I mean, I can't, that's why people run things like Scald or in this case Steam Eruption. It is for that 30% chance to burn because it's just one of the best moves in the game. So. If we can get the burn on the Slowking, it would be great. Because with the burn, I think we'd actually have a good chance of um, beating that thing in the long run. Because rocks plus burn damage on switch-ins, when trying to switch into it, if, with it trying to switch into moves, uh, it'll the damage is going to rack up really fast. And at that point, its regenerator is almost. If I get a burn on it, if the regenerator on switch-ins is almost nullified by the, uh, the rocks and the, and the cool part about this is, I believe, let me look at this, it goes down to the Venusaur, are we gonna take this thing out here? Yes! Yes! Okay. That thing's gone. Kills Mega Venusaur. I'm happy. Heatran comes in. Okay, 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 okay. Steam. Eruption. So this thing's faster than me. I know this thing packs Earth Power. How much is Earth Power gonna do? Neutron, oh, defensive. Earth power actually doesn't kill me? If you're timid max speed, Earth power doesn't kill me, Steam Eruption kills you. I'm actually... What do I lose by losing this thing? I lose a switch in, into Arcanine. I lose something that can one-shot Arcanine. And that's not good. I need to keep this thing alive. Um, who, in my mind, has truly run their course in this battle? Tuffles. You actually eat that up. Yo! Yo! Oh! That's so legit! Okay, first of all, I need to know, 
Can I? We just ate. We can't eat a flash cannon. I just got so hyped for like no reason. <laughs> oh, I just got hyped for no reason. Oh man, if I was running Babiri Berry, that'd be fantastic, but I'm not. Oh man. I mean, I I'm content with just sacking this thing off anyway. But yo. We're going for the Focus Blast, that's fine. We're going to get Leftovers back. I'm going to go ahead here for the... Alright, let's look at this. We're at plus two now. We're sitting at plus two. We got a competitive boost. That's, like, literally everything right now. Let's go to Aromatisse. And we need to make you specially defensive because that's what you are. To... Sassy. Just presume that you're Sassy. Alright. Now, does that look right with the Focus Blast damage? Let's, yeah. Alright, Thunderbolt does kill from here. So that's my safest play is to go for the Thunderbolt. Alright, so Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff kills. Wigglytuff kills. Aromatisse. Wigglytuff getting a kill. That's kind of crazy. That competitive boost is so legit right now. I don't even understand how this is happening. Alright, so if I were her, I would be kind of scared. Um, this thing actually outspeeds looking, right? Plus two Thunderbolts doing 40 to 47. That's really bad for her because I two-shot it with Thunderbolt. Um, Heatran. I'm predict. I'm thinking because of the fact that she switched out, that this thing might be choice scarfed. It might be a choice scarfed uh, Heatran. That's my personal opinion. I could be wrong. But I think that thing's choice scarfed. Because did it swap after using stealth routes earlier? She did swap right after using rocks earlier, so I think she's actually scarfed. We just clicked Thunderbolt because we two shot this thing. We are in a fantastic position, all because, all because that Earth Power got that Spideff drop. I. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. This thing's down to 22%. Do I just go T-Volt here? Okay, let me look at... Are you specially defensive? I thought about just 36%. I don't understand what your set is anymore. I don't truly understand what your set is. I'm still trying to figure that out. We're at minus one spadef. Alright, so you're definitely max special attack. Modest. Definitely packing an assault vest. Alright. Potentially. I don't know. My best play, best, best play is still just uh, Thunderbolt, and we kill the Slow King. Wiggly Tough. Kills Slow King. 
Again, I'm totally fine with this thing dying. I wanted this thing to die. I'm just gonna click Focus Blast, but she's gonna kill us here. With something. She's gonna kill us here. Because we're at minus one spit F. Yeah, this thing this thing kills us with just about anything right now. She's gonna Earth Power and just gonna kill us. That's fine. Heatran. I was sacking this thing off originally and then it turned out to be a monster. That's insane. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to tell her that. I'm giving her props because this is maybe the best match I've had in a while. Alright. Now, we know. We put it in there. We know. Heatran. Buddy Heatran here. Is offensive. Okay. Now. Alright, let's look at this. All right, how much would Jolteon do to this thing right now? Jolteon cannot kill this thing. Earth Power can kill Jolteon. Okay. Let's look at potential for Drapion. If this thing is fully offensive, Earth Power will kill from the range of Jolt Drapion is at right now. Okay, so the only switch I really have is Bardashian. Because we're Scarfed, we outspeed this thing. I'm positive we outspeed this thing, so let's go to Jinx. Now, we have to, we, we essentially, we have to go for, we have to go for Focus Blast. Because if she goes out into the Mandibuzz, oh, that's a problem. How much does Mandibuzz take from a Focus Blast? 26 to 30, 31? We actually have a chance to kill the Mandibuzz after rocks. So we have to go for Focus Blast. I'm clicking Focus Blast. Okay. Okay. I'm clicking it again. Okay. We have to hit two Focus Blasts in a row, which is cuckoo crazy shit. Forgot this thing especially defensive, so let me put that in there. Calm. That actually looks about correct. Yeah. yeah. So we should we should be good. Focus Blast does kill the Mandibuzz from this point. Can't she can't switch out. She cannot switch out the Mandibuzz. Because if it comes back in, it dies to rocks. She could potentially go under No, she can't swap this thing out because then it dies to rocks. Focus Blast does 37 to 46% to Arcanine. That thing comes in on rocks. It's sitting at 100% right now. That thing comes in on rocks, plus two Focus Blasts, because we're Scarfed, would kill it. I mean, Extreme Seed would kill us, but regardless, like, we have things that can handle the, the Arcanine. And the Heatran can't stay in against... Uh, Heatran can't stay in against... If Arcanine comes out, we switch. We missed! Oh, that fucks us! Oh, we might have just lost just now. Oh, that might have cost us the game. Oh, man.
Uh... Alright, I'm gonna go out to Jolteon. So, I think that actually cost us the match. I, I, I'm confident in saying that that miss right there cost us the entire match. I'm okay with saying that because I'm not an unrealistic person. I'm gonna say right now that that miss cost us the entire match. I'm gonna Volt Switch. Alright, so... Mandibuzz... Kills... Jinx. Jolteon kills Mandibus. <sighs> he tried Windsor the game. Honestly, just based upon the health that I'm at right now, he trying wins through the game. Yeah, he trying just wins through the game. There's nothing I can do. She goes out into this thing. I think today off. It's fine. There's not much I can do. I'm just gonna go for the earthquake. Let's <sighs> get damage. Just for the flamethrower, that's fine. I do have speed. It's good to know. <sighs> oh my god. This is such a bad situation just because of the simple fact that I I think I had this game on lock. And then I missed. So I know for a fact that he turned out speeds. <sighs> he turned has to out. He he turned pretty much out speeds my whole team. I just have to click Steam Eruption here. Something dies. I, if for whatever reason she swaps out here, then I wouldn't say I win. I don't say I win the game actually. No, if she swaps out here. Either way, she wins. Cause Drapion can't take down this thing. This thing goes down. Volcanion kills. Arcanine, Volcanion, dies to Toxic from Mandibuzz. Oh, Alright, so let's keep that audio offensive up there. Wait, we might actually have a chance here. Oh my god. I think we win. Going to Jolteon. If, 
if my calcs the entire game are correct, Thunderbolt kills. If my calcs for the entire game are correct, Thunderbolt kills right here. If she's max speed, max special attack, which is what I've been predicting this entire game and what the calcs have come out to say. Minimum. Yes! Oh my god, that was too close. Alright, we get a 2 0 -oh win over the. Um. Fuck, what the hell is your team name even? Oh man, that's so crazy. Alright, so let me write that down. Jolteon kills Heatran. Oh man. I really want to figure out that slow king spread, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do that off screen and on my own time, whatever. I might bring that up in the team builder for next week, but uh, oh, that I my heart is beating a mile a minute. We've just been <laughs> that battle literally took us an hour. If we were on th if, if this league was in 3ds, uh, if this league was on 3ds, we would have timed out. We would have timed out just now. <coughs> That's insane. Oh my god. Um, uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Um, Um, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys are absolutely blown away that we won that battle and for how close that battle was for 42 turns. Alright, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, I need to go run a mile because the adrenaline is so high. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, again, if you guys enjoyed, uh, leave a like down below. Uh, I will link Cassie's channel down below. She does, like, Pokemon remixes and stuff like that. 
Actually, let me make sure that that's actually correct, because I'm pretty sure that's what she does. I know there's someone in the league who does that. Um, YouTube. Cast Kingdra. Op. Uh, where are you at, Cast? Let me just go to my subscriptions. Let me just go to my things here. Blah, 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 blah. I know I subscribe to her channel. It's just a matter of finding it. Uh, da, 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 da. I will be linking it in the description so you guys won't have to go through all this kind of crazy searching and whatnot for it. I know it's in here somewhere. I know that it is. Aha. Yes. Yeah, she does uh, Pokemon remixes and some stuff like that, so it's really, really cool. But, uh, yeah, definitely check her out. She's a fantastic battler. Oh, man. This this battle was insane. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Uh, it's been a very long video. I'm burnt out. I know you guys are probably really burnt out, too, just from watching this. But, uh, yeah. Leave a like, subscribe, subscribe to Cassie, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, peace out.